Well, four league meetings between these two sides have produced 17 goals. We expect thrills at Tynecastle today. Well, that's given away by tapping, and it's Graham Carey. The 23 minutes played, Graham Carey has his first goal for Ross County. But what a shambles here for Hearts. Tapping's pass straight into the path of the Irishman. Robinson's corner, greeted by Groans. But there's Patterson, oh, what a wonderful finish that was. Callum Patterson, who scored a fabulous overhead kick for the Scotland under-21s last week. This was just as good. Where did he fashion that finish from? The Hearts haven't won at home since August the 24th. That came against Aberdeen. Fine win up at Pataudry two weeks ago as well. Glenn looking to find the space for the shot. He's done well to turn that back to Lucassen. Gary Glenn. Melvin DeLeo picks the corner. Fine finish from the Dutchman. And five minutes into the second half, Ross County are back in front. They haven't won away since February, but they are well positioned here at Tynecastle. Didn't he finish that well? Smith will now take the corner kick. Wilson meets it. Oh, and it's gone in! And with 89 minutes on the clock, Hearts have got themselves the equaliser. Wilson's header, it came off McLean, but that's got to go down as Wilson's goal. And Dundee United have the best defensive record in the league, but going forward, they are a real threat too. And this is Ryan Gold, and it's slipped through for Gary Mackay, Stephen. We've not even played two minutes, and already Dundee United's attacking flair opens up Partick Thistle. And Gary Mackay, Stephen, has his third goal of the season. Drilled home after great work by Ryan Gold. It's Aaron Muirheads! Partick Thistle are level. Dundee United have had so much of the game. But Aaron Muirhead, clinical from the spot. It's his fourth spot kick of the season. And it's 1-1. One, one. Suter. He can drive out from the back. Gold. Lovely ball to release the overlapping Robertson. Who strikes and finds the back of the net. Andrew Robertson for the second game running scores. He just loves getting forward from left back. And he's added the finishing touch to his game. Brilliantly done by the former Queen's Park player. Gold took that in really nicely. Looks to thread the ball through for Chip Cheek. Gets a second attempt at it. Mackay Steven, that's 3-1. The game is safe now. Just two minutes after Balatoni was sent off, Dundee United managed to expose the space in Partick Thistle's defence. Gold with the ball through, and Mackay Stephen finishing off his second of the game. And now Partick Thistle are the ones that have to be careful because Dundee United could break here, and it's through for Brian Graham. Brilliantly finished for number four. And Brian Graham can celebrate his first goal for Dundee United. Slipped in by Gold, who completes his fourth assist of the game. Here's Samaras. Floated in, and that invites Langfield, but only as far as Chris Commons. And his volley finds its way all the way through the bodies. And Chris Commons gives Celtic the lead after 36 minutes. It was Langfield's punch which dropped right on to the right boot of Chris Commons. And he scores for the sixth time this season.
Considine's header. Zola. Oh, and there's McGinn, and he forces it in. Aberdeen right on the stroke of half time have got the equaliser. Niall McGinn, out of respect for his former club, refuses to celebrate. And that was knocked in from all of a couple of inches. Mulgrew with the corner. Van Dijk, oh, and knocked in by Dirk Borigter. We are over the 90 minutes. And it's the two Dutchmen that combine to put Celtic in front. Good flick on by Berigter for Samaras, who does well against Anderson. Berigter continues his run. Back to Samaras now. Georgia Samaras on the right foot. Good save, Cummins. It's 3-1. Two late, late goals for Celtic. And 3-1, a double for Commons. After Langfield had palmed it out to the midfielder. Angol and Lionel Ainsworth. The substitute, it's all the way across for Vigers. Oh, and Sutton's in there, he's all alone, surely this time. John Sutton has the goal, 10 minutes into the second half. Sutton, always a danger challenging. Anier against O'Hara, Anier's got too much strength, Henry Anier, that will do it. Motherwell two up, and there's just two minutes left to play, and it's Henry Anier who scores his first goal since September the 22nd. Well, it was 4-0 the last time these two teams met. St. Johnson really hit form that day. This is Tremarco, though, and he's blazed right through the middle of the two defenders. And there is Billy Mackay, just four minutes into the game, to knock in the opener. And Inverness are doing just fine without Terry Butcher. Great ball in from Tremarco.